What's going on guys? Today I'm just going to make a quick boomer vlog. Uh, this won't be in my backyard. I'm just going to record this in the car. Today is a federal holiday here in the United States. It's Memorial Day and of course a lot of people are getting together, cooking out, barbecuing, things like that. And you know I was with some friends and family today and this is something that I often observe anytime I'm really around any group of people is why do we lie? And by we, I mean all of us. Why do human beings lie constantly? Like <laughs> We lie all the time. Uh, from, from the very moment you actually begin a conversation with somebody, it, it, it almost always begins with a lie. Uh, when you meet somebody on the street and you ask them, how are you today? that's a lie. You really are not interested in how they're doing, right? And they're going to respond, oh, I'm doing great. And almost no one is really doing great, you know, and then he's going to, you know, so he lies in response. And then he asks you, how are you doing today? And then you, of course, like a machine, you just robotically spit out, you know, your lie that you're doing fine today. But really, no one is ever really just okay or doing great. You know, we all have problems in life. But, you know, if you actually said, oh, uh, you know, today I feel fatigued, I feel depressed, I feel a little uh, down in the dumps, and you, know, so you start laying your problems onto somebody that just asked you, how are you doing today? It's going to frighten them, right? Because they're not going to be prepared for that kind of honesty. It's going to scare them so much that they may not know how to respond to your response. And a matter of fact, they may just quit talking to you altogether. They may never ask you how you're doing again if you actually answered in a truthful way. And I just think it's weird. We've, we've programmed ourselves to lie. And that, that's just a, an example. But, you know, when people are getting together and talking about their lives, you know, things they do, they always exaggerate. Sometimes it's just flat out lie. People talk about the, the things they do, you know, in their daily routine and things because they haven't seen a certain friend or family member a long time. So they make up this, this person. They invent this new person. It's not really them they're talking about, right? It's this false ego, this false personality that comes out. They just whole hog, just invent this new them right? It's, it's not even them that they're even talking about. And they sit there and make up this person and tell all of these lies. And everyone that's around them knows they're lying, but they don't call them out on their BS, right? Because if you call them out on their BS, for one thing, it would really shock that person that, hey, I know you're lying. I know everything you just said is BS. Quit lying. You know, it's going to cause them to get angry. It's going to uh, be like, like nobody does that, right? Nobody in real life ever calls people out on their BS. It's just weird. I know this is a weird topic on a holiday where people are getting together. It's a happy time, but it's just, you know, it's one of those things we need to be conscious, all of us, everyone, everyone watching this video and including the person making this video, we need to be conscious of not lying to others, but really lying to ourselves. Like if you were a third party observer and you could see the way you are talking, the way you're acting because we also lie with just actions we become a new person right we put on a show every time we're around other people to make them think we're something we're not and it's just odd it's, it's just a really odd thing think about all of the things that people lie about in life the things you lie about in life the things i lie about in life if somebody asks you uh, about your your work you're going to tell them everything's fine. You're doing great at your job. They're, they're about to promote you. And, you know, you could have got fired last week. Right? <laughs> That's the kind of things we do. Or if you're talking about uh, sports you play or uh, workout routine or something, you're going to tell people that, you know, you're doing just incredible things, you know, at wh whatever sport or game you're, you're playing, uh, you know, your hobbies. You're going you're gonna to exaggerate. And it's one of those things, you, you see this all the time in other aspects of life. I see like people that are into like politics, especially political activists, the people that are out there trying to change the world, right? And they're fighting against various things, uh, fighting against racism or misogyny or transphobia or wh whatever it happens to be. You know, there's some social cause that they want to go out there and they're going to change the world. They're going to change people's minds. But they never really work on themselves, right? Because we all have this weird false personality, right? And if 
some of these people actually focused on changing themselves, which is the only person ultimately you can change. You, you can go out there and try to save the world, right? Change the world. I'm going to change hearts and minds, but you can't control what other people think. You can't control what other people are. You can only control what you are. And a lot of these people that are out there that are trying to be these activists and trying to change the world and are putting on a show that think you know, they want people to think that they're out there fighting the fight, right? And they're a good person. Many of these people, that's 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 false, right? It's the same thing. These people that are pretending at the family cookout, you know, different aspects of life. A lot of these people are also really fake people that don't really care about the causes they're fighting for. They only care about how it makes them look in society in terms of you know how their friends and family view them they don't really care what they're actually out there promoting another area of life people lie about is religion you see a lot of people that claim to be religious spiritual people you, you see a lot of people for example uh, Christianity being the biggest faith here in the US you see a lot of people that claim to be Christian that aren't really Christian. And by a lot of people, I mean of all the tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people I've ever encountered in life that called themselves a Christian, maybe five of them were really Christian as far as they actually acted as a Christian. <laughs> like, like they actually read the Bible, read the words of Jesus, and you know, like Jesus of the Bible, would he condone your actions as a Christian? Uh, for 99.9% .9 of you, if you uh, identify as a Christian, no, of course not. There's a lot of things you do in life that don't really adhere to the tenets of Christianity. And th that's the thing, you know, so many of us, we, we claim to be things we're not. You see this online, social media, those of us, free and open source software in the Linux community, so many people in the free and open source software community are out there also trying to change the world with free and open source software, right? They, many of these people online are very fake, <laughs> you know, you, and you, especially if you know some of the people in real life that are also online, the people that it's, it's weird. You're a completely different person. It's, it's almost like you're acting. It's one of the things I, I have to be careful about as a YouTuber. I try to be very genuine. I try to just be myself on camera. A lot of YouTubers, though, purposely try not to be themselves on camera. They imagine that they're uninteresting. Nobody will like them. Nobody will like the real me. That That's scary, right? That's a very scary thing. And I think that's why not just YouTubers lie on camera, pretend to be something different. And I think that's why people in real life pretend to be something different. They're scared to actually be themselves because the real you, people may not like it, right? And that, that man, that, that's a scary thing when you think about it. But, you know, at some point, you have to be you. You have to be truthful in life because if you're not truthful, if it's not the real you in life, then everything in life that happens to you, it's all going to be accidental, right? It's just the law of accidents, right? Because everything you do, because you're never really the real you, all the cause and effect of your life, it's not really directed by the real you, right? Everything that happens in your life is just accident, right? It just happens. Where if it's the real you, you can really direct where life is going. As it's kind of the, the old, you know, is it fate or is it your own will? Well, if it's not really you directing everything, then obviously it can't be your own will, right? It's all fate, it's all karma, it's all accident, it's all luck, bad luck, good luck, whatever it happens to be, right? You know, at some point, we just have to be who we really are. Anyway, boomer vlog over, guys. Peace.